What's up, guys? It's Chris from Warrior Soul. Anyways, um, sorry, it's late in the day. I get a little bit goofy. I'm getting like all these Facebook messages now. I might turn that shit off. Um, but I want to address a comment I got one of my videos this week, and that was that, you know, in response to, to me saying I eat, you know, up to nine cups of green vegetables a day and a bunch of sulfur vegetables, somebody said, well, why don't you just eat some organ meat? get the nutrient density from that, and then you don't have to eat all those vegetables. And uh, I get what he's saying, you know, grass-fed beef liver, one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. Um, and I do eat it, I do incorporate it in my diet, and I try to incorporate it into my diet once or twice a week. Um, but here's the thing, I, one, don't eat much meat. I try not to eat much meat. Um, and the reason I try not to eat much meat is because I don't want to be packing myself full of protein. All right? And, and uh, that's the thing. I don't really eat more than between 6 and 12 ounces of, of meat a day, really. And then I have days where I don't eat meat at all. I'll just eat a lot of avocados. I'll have some nuts. I'll have a lot of vegetables and things like that. And that's because for me, it's really important that I'm, one, I'm getting a lot of variety from my diet. Two, uh, it's really important to me that I'm also eating vegetables. And the reason is because vegetables also have something that's very important for me and very important for anybody that's following any kind of diet. And that is that green vegetables, in my opinion, are the best source of fiber in the world. All right, and a lot of people they, they go to whole grains, and I had another comment on there, you know, from the Mark Sisson podcast, and and they're talking about how, you know, whole grains are unhealthy. What is this guy talking about? And I'm not saying whole grains are unhealthy for everybody. They're unhealthy for me. Uh, I'm gluten intolerant, uh, and I have ulcerative colitis. And there's a whole shitload of people out there who have digestive issues who can't tolerate whole grains. And on top of that, here's the thing: they're not the best source of fiber. And I've done a whole video on this. In fact. When they're controlled for calories, whole grains are a really piss poor source of fiber when compared to vegetables. You can get many more nutrients from vegetables. The whole grains aren't very nutrient dense when compared to green vegetables and, and grass fed beef liver for that matter. So I choose to eat a lot of green vegetables. Now why is that fiber important? Well, the fiber is important because it helps to keep a very healthy probiotic environment in my intestinal tract and it helps with ensuring intestinal motility, which is another thing that's very important. Now, let me say this, you can go on a ketogenic diet with cream and butter and eggs and, and not get many vegetables and you'll feel good for about a year. After about a year, you're going to start to see some effects, right? So it, it could be decreased gut health. It could be indigestion. It could start to be brain fog. It could be energy lapses. It could be the rise of autoimmune symptoms. I know one thing, having ulcerative colitis, I'm not going to take any gambles on it. And I feel really, really good eating the amount of vegetables that I eat per day, which is pretty significant. Um, and I understand that a lot of people don't like vegetables. I understand that a lot of people are scared of vegetables. A lot of people with ulcerative colitis are scared of vegetables because they think that they can't tolerate them. And what I would do is I would suggest that you really take a listen to the podcast I just did with Dr. Terry Walls, the author of The Walls Protocol, a woman who defeated her own MS through a, a paleo diet. And she eats nine cups of green leafy vegetables a day with an additional three cups of sulfur vegetables just like I do see I don't really mess around when it comes to trying to find information she had some amazing information for me when I was suffering from ulcerative colitis through her book the walls protocol and I read it and followed it and she's informed a whole lot of my philosophy is when it comes to fitness, when it comes to health, and when it comes to fighting autoimmune disease. So those are the big reasons why I eat a lot of vegetables. And I think the, that me eating a lot of vegetables has a lot to do with the fact that I am very healthy, that I am 
you know, overcoming a lot of the symptoms I have with ulcerative colitis. Absolutely, do I still deal with them from time to time? Yes, but they do not put me down. They do not keep me down. And I'm able to make adjustments when necessary in order to overcome those flare-ups. And I bounce right back. And so I stand before you 38 years old and I'm feeling great. I'm doing more pull-ups these days than I was when I was 19 and in the Marine Corps. And it's because of the regimens that I follow. Um, and that's not to say that everything I do is gonna be good for you. You've got to do your own research. You've got to experiment with yourself and, and you've got to figure out what works for you. Um, but it's to say that, that this process of figuring things out, doing research, learning from people who've been through it before, that's what's helped me get by. That's what's helped me in, in overcoming a lot of the things that have been put in my path. Um, <clears throat> and then finally, you know, for those of you who are trying to figure this stuff out, um, you know, what I would say is that it's always, there's, there's two big rules that you should always go with. And I've said these over and over again. You need to make sure that your food is nutrient dense and it is digestible. So for instance, when we talk about digestibility, we're talking about extracting those nutrients because anything you can't digest is gonna damage your intestinal tract. So when we're talking about vegetables, one of the things that you really need to be concerned with here is, are you going to react negatively to certain things in those vegetables. So for instance, vegetables that are really high in lectins, L-E-C-T-I-N-S, and you're seeing a lot out there now on lectins and, and the types of diseases they can cause and the fact that they can give rise to autoimmune symptoms. And so you really need to be careful of things like nightshade vegetables, like tomatoes, like eggplants, um, and, and, and things from that family because they, they can exacerbate and give rise to autoimmune symptoms. Now, this kills me because I'm Italian and I love making my own marinara sauce out of crushed tomatoes. Um, but I've got to really watch out for myself and my autoimmunity. And these are things that, that you know I have to look out for in order to keep myself healthy. And so, you know, something that a lot of people would think is is very healthy and that is harmless like tomatoes for some people like me and and maybe some of you it could be disastrous you know and and Terry Walls was talking about uh, I've heard her talk about the fact that you know she she tries to stay away from eggplant and she stays away from um, tomatoes uh, she she'll eat them from time to time but sometimes they'll cause face pain and will give rise to some of her MS symptoms so it's just a quick vlog to get some stuff off my chest. Sometimes I don't make sense when I do that. But, uh, you know, I think you guys got the message. If you got questions for me, hit me up at info at warriorsoulapparel.com. If you want to check out the amazing podcast we have, go to www.warriorsoulgoge.com. That's A-G-O-G-E. And, um, you know, we've got some great stuff up there. If you're interested in coaching, you can email me as well at info at warriorsoulapparel.com. And I think that's the only thing I got to plug. Market, market, market. That's what I do. No, I'm just kidding. I try to give you guys good information. But got to put this stuff out there too. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you all. Peace.